All right, Charm, uh, part two of this morning's news. We're moving on now to the Joy Toy Scavengers. Now, a lot of people thought these were going to be the Cult of San Reha, basically a, a, a few more releases, but it ended up being their own sect. Basically, all that we know is that they're called Scavengers, but these are some of the coolest things that I've seen come out of Joy Toy recently. Um, that is basically their own IP, right? This isn't supposed to be anything else. What it's based on, I have no idea, but there are some really cool ideas in here. And as you can tell, we have the goodest of boys at the bottom right there. We're going to get into it right now. So let's break it down. And just like earlier, here's this photo right here. Make sure you guys take a screenshot of that. This is basically everything that we're going to be getting past the um, the set of Necrons that we just went over last week. So these are all the releases that have basically been announced by Joy Toy. As you can tell, a lot of stuff coming here. A lot of stuff announced, basically, for this new year. So yeah, make sure you take a screenshot of this one. Now, starting off with the first, and I would I would probably say the best one out of the three, is the Wasteland Scavengers Nikos. Man, this guy is dope i i don't know who exactly is designing some of these um ips over there at joy toy like who puts together specifically um you know the, the stuff that is original to them but man this is one of the coolest things i've seen come out of them now take away the scythe and it's still a super cool fucking character but the fact that they also added this giant ass scythe is incredible it's really good looking it's something that looks right out of an anime this is right up our alley i'm sure we're all loving this and of course this kind of i don't want to say japanese per se but it does look kind of like a japanese oni uh, demon mask uh, or should i say demon shoulder pad on the arm i mean i really like this aesthetic overall i like what they're doing here i like the way this guy looks he looks very grim reaper-esque you could say and of course it's the scythe but but just the details everywhere around him look great there are colors up and down all around even on the back some of these yellow colors that we don't really see on the front i mean this is a very well put together put together figure for the most part, I would say that movement and articulation on this figure seem to be about as much as anything else that we've gotten from Joy Toy. Um, worried a little bit about those hips. Um, it looks like getting him into a kneeling pose probably isn't going to be too hard. And then the way that they've set up the hood to be separate from the chest piece, I like that. It means that we'll be able to get full articulation in the head as well. And then that submachine gun looks really good with this Scythe, man. I could definitely see this being used as a custom for Chaos Guardsmen for warhammer 40k um but again this is just an incredible look and i saw a size comparison photo i wasn't able to get it for you guys i apologize but it looks like these guys are a little bit bigger than like your regular um like marine soldiers that joy toy makes so these guys aren't small at all now this right here really sold me on the fact that a he comes with those knives again this kind of like assassin japanese style figure love it but he also comes with a or, or or should i say you can remove the hoodie and then it's just the head so damn do i fucking love this man like they really went out all on this they gave him a really cool looking melee weapon other um really cool looking knives that i don't think we've gotten before uh, uh that smg i mean again this guy oozes just so much quality here i really like what joy toy has done here and i appreciate that they're making their own custom ips and i hope they expand on this because this looks great um this is definitely a winner for me if i only can buy one this is the one and i am pretty sure that we're gonna get more of these guys in the future but at least for now this is awesome now i really like seeing the breakdown of everything that comes on these guys because if you look at the base body it doesn't look anything special compared to what we've gotten before it is obviously uh, you could say bespoke to this character but look at everything that you can put on or take off of him you could buy two three four of them and be slightly different to each one of them right maybe switch out head maybe switch out whatever it is you decide to switch out but i think that this is an incredible looking figure the only thing i didn't see is whether or not those two knives that he comes with are sheathable onto the body i hope they are i hate it when they don't do that um but hey still i'm glad that we get them now switching over to the other guy this is going to be the wasteland scavenger simeon spud or should i say simeon and then his beautiful goodest of boys corgi uh spud uh, i love this man oh my god I, i'm not really one to buy like dogs or anything like that the joy toy make but this is just a cute little companion to put next to them i love this um the figure itself i would say is my least favorite simeon this guy seems to come with i mean they're scavengers right so kind of like um what is what do you call those things 
they're not like metal detectors, but I guess that's what they are. But anyways, so I think that this guy does look pretty badass. He's a thick boy. He's got a lot of armor on him. He's definitely good looking. And while I personally don't really care about his uh, metal detector thing, he does come with a shotgun, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and of course, he comes with a corgi, so the, I kind of have to buy this guy. Um, but overall, I think it is a good-looking figure. I love the color scheme. Again, I like that this is different from Nico's. They they look like they're separate figures or separate factions, and I think that's the right way to do it for these characters, especially because they're scavengers. Um, it really creates that motif of like um, asymmetrical designs throughout them so i think that's a good look now i think my only real concern for these guys is going to be that that's a really big backpack on the back and as you can tell it's literally the entire back almost to the top of the head almost to i would say the bottom of his ass so um i think my only gripe about that is that some of the figures that we've gotten in the past they don't make the the they don't make it hollow so it's a big piece of plastic on the back that might make him a little bit too back heavy so i'm hoping that's not the case i'm hoping we will stand him up no problem or that the feet are at least i don't know big enough to support that kind of weight and then as you can tell he has a shovel there and i'm pretty sure the shovel comes off so he comes with a lot a lot of equipment so this is really really dope really really cool i really hope that we get again more expansion on this but i do hope that joy toy does fix that um making really heavy backpacks on figures that are this small usually means that it's actually hard to keep them uh standing upright unless you do it the way they do it here where he's using basically the um, metal detector to hold himself up so you know we'll have to see what happens though technically here he seems to be standing perfectly fine um but again that could just be more that he's leaning uh, more on that back leg so it's hard to tell so i am hoping again that it's a lightweight backpack that you can put on him that won't necessarily change how you have to make him stand but just like nikos you can see him here unhelmeted again i love that i love the fact that we get um, the ability to have both heads like that because it allows you to buy more than one if you wanted to and then of course he's got the shovel in hand uh, again just a really cool looking figure and look at our beautiful spud spud my guy fucking no no mask on i love that i love the fact that he doesn't move at all he's basically a statue it looks like his head can probably uh swivel left and right but you can take off the mask too so again even if you buy two of these mask on mask off doesn't matter it is a really cool look and just like Nico's, Simeon basically comes with a whole host of different stuff. So again, there's definitely some ability here to customize how you want. I don't do that, but I can already tell that uh, Skellywags is going to have uh, a ball game just uh, taking all these apart and showing you guys this stuff. So it's pretty good stuff here. It's really fun stuff here. I'm really glad that um, in, in many ways joy toys coming into its own with its own ips and, and stuff like that they've always done that kind of stuff before um but for me i think they're really starting to catch your stride on certain things that are very interesting and make you want to buy them and now for our last scavenger we have lendl now okay i'm going to tell you guys right now joy toy if you are paying attention to my videos please reach out to jinro and see if you can get the rights to make the red spectacles because this is basically what they look like but in blue I mean, yes, there's obviously a few differences and the red spectacle armor is going to look a little different, but man, somebody needs to do it. And I think you guys are the perfect company to do it, especially considering you're already making figures that look just about a, just basically what a scavenger red spectacles armor would look like. So I think this is awesome. The blue color is great. This is basically a flamer. This is a really awesome looking figure overall. Um, again, this these guys all look to be chaos space uh, chaos guardsmen. So I know a few of you in the uh, comment section can let me know what you plan on doing with these guys. But I really want to see it. Now, Joy Toy is definitely going all out with giving these guys a bunch of different uh, equipment. So, on top of the flamer and the fuel tank on the back of him that he uses, he also comes with what looks like a tomahawk, which looks incredible. I love tomahawks, so definitely a must-buy. And some kind of, I want to say, like a silenced pistol. Definitely, definitely cool, man. I really appreciate the fact that we're getting multiple looks. You know, I imagine I could buy two of these, and I imagine I could probably remove that, um, that flamer if you don't want him to be a flamer you just want him to be kind of a close quarter combat scavenger type you could totally do that here we get a very good look at that fuel tank on the back <laughs> they do a really good job of how can i say 
if you look at like what the Warhammer orcs look like and how they kind of jimmy rig a lot of shit together to make their equipment, the scavengers are basically the human version of that. This definitely looks like somebody jimmy rigged something together uh, to make it work as a proper flamer. Uh, I love the aesthetic. I think that uh, that junkyard style sometimes can be kind of a mix match, but I think they it, when it's just the equipment and the actual figure itself has really cool looking armor like this, I think it goes great. I hate when it's like full on junky looking figure. I don't like that. This looks like something out of a Metro game, and I think you guys can agree to that. Now, seeing it for the third time over, I feel like these guys have a lot of different parts to go on to their figures. Um, I don't want to say that it's just this guy, um, or should I say that Joy Toy um, hasn't been doing that a lot, but when you look at some of the Warhammer 40k stuff, they don't come with nearly as much equipment that can come off or be put onto them, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. And of course, just the same way as the rest of them, you can remove the helmet. So again, if you want to make a few different versions, versions of this you want to make maybe two flamers and then one guy without the flamer without the helmet who's like their leader their close combat leader really cool looking stuff man i really appreciate what joy toy has done here and i as i said before i hope they expand on this the cult of san reha stuff does look really cool none of them have really been so cool that i felt the 100 the need to buy i know i'm always saying i'm gonna buy this stuff and once i do get the sponsor that will be doing that kind of stuff as i will most likely have more access to funds to be able to buy all this kind of stuff but as a personal collector i think these three look amazing and assuming they're priced okay because i'm pretty sure they're they're probably going to be priced a bit aggressively because they, they do come with a lot of stuff but you know if joy toy can you know price them correctly i think for sure i'm gonna buy all three if i can only choose one nikos is my guy i think this is way too cool not to buy um again i think joy toy knocked it out of the park with that character um they've knocked it out of the park with all three but i think nikos is definitely my favorite so let me know in the comment section below which one is the one for you if you only had to choose one and if you're gonna get all three let me know i'll see you guys on part three